This is the camping fair in Essen, Germany. This is the road car R540. Now I've filmed this at least twice in the past, but never in this colour. You may think that colour looks absolutely awful. Indeed, 99.9% .9 of people may think the same thing. However, if 0.1% of people think that that is a fantastic colour, I've got a feeling that that may be the reason that some people may want to buy this van. Now, uh, on my opinion, well, it's not the colour I would choose. It costs 40,000 euros. Let's have a look inside. All right, so, if you stand here, you've got the fridge in this direction, Dometic fridge, and it's exactly the same one as I've got, but I think it's a slightly smaller one than mine. Uh, electric, so it's a two-way fridge. Now, uh, the table is unfortunately a little on the small side. Uh, I think it could do with a bigger one. And another thing is, is this uh, uh, a bulwark up here which comes with the Fiat so they, they didn't really change it. Uh, I do prefer the Mercedes from that point of view because so the, the Mercedes you haven't got that meaning you've got more headroom inside. And I do appreciate them at the 40,000 euros for the cost of the van then you know getting rid of things like that uh, would add to the price. 40,000 incidentally is the base price and up here you can see you've got something extra. You've got that. So having a tent in the roof is going to put the price up a bit. It's a pretty uh, simple design this one, although it is I think my favourite because it's got a lengthwise bed at the back. You can do this more easily with the Fiat because of the shape of van Mercedes. It would be somewhat more difficult. That's relatively standard. Indeed, no, it's not, sorry, it's stand for a motorhome, not for a camper van. And that there, three, um, three burners in a vehicle of this size, uh, that's quite a lot really. Well, bear in mind how big this is, so you can't really expect this to be enormous. And uh, for the size of a van, this van, I think that isn't too bad to be quite honest. There's the oh right now it's not cute. Fill the basin up, tip the basin up like that, and the water goes down there. Right, I like that. And it's got the Thetford blue stuff in there. Storage at the back. Aha, uh -huh. what's happened here? Oh, I know what's happened here because you've got the tent in the roof, so you can't have a skylight up there. That's what's happened here. Um, I think that uh, normally, if you bought the tent in the roof, you wouldn't have that, that thing there, I suspect. That gives you an idea how much space there is in there. There's, place. There's where you can get it from. Let's have a look around the outside. I don't know what says professional. I mean, are people professional campers? They, they camp for a living. Uh, you see, you've got the gas at the left hand side. But you, when you take the, you, know, you put the bed up or something like that, and you've got uh, this, all this space, and that bit at the front as well down there, that'll come out. So if you want to put your bikes in there or something like that, you can get them in. So let's have a look some more bands here. R540 in a more sober colour. 36,000. Oh, it's got a um, it's got the awning. So you can see what I said earlier about the uh, the tent in the roof and the skylight. This one hasn't got a tent.
R640. This one here costs 43,270. It's a bit longer. And this one has got an, an enormous bed at the back. In fact, half the van is bed. Well, if you're tall, you might need it. If you're not, then you won't. But uh, I really do sympathize with tall people in vans of this nature. It would be better with a sliding door than this one though, I think. We've got a bit of space there for you. Uh, carrying your clothes, should you have any. You can leave these hanging up, it can go down here. In there. This is the campster, it's a car really. Uh, got to the tents up there. Now, um, I don't have a particularly uh, high opinion of many of these uh, vans, which are sort of more car than uh, not car. Having said that, there's a couple uh, that, that do appeal to me. This isn't one of them. So you've got... Uh, you've, it's okay, I mean, if you're going, you know, you're going away for the weekend or something like that, no, well, it, might, it might be suitable. Obviously, it's a summer use only because you're sleeping in the tent, probably. Although, I must say, it was minus, I think, three uh, about two weeks ago, and somebody parked next to me, and they had a tent. They were sleeping in the tent. Uh, they had a VW. And uh, so anyway, so there are people who do this sort of thing. Space Camper, for example, gives uh, diesel heating, and uh, so that makes it makes it possible. You have another look at another one here. So you put the put the, uh, the bed down there. So you get four four of you in here. Toilet. Oh, you'll have to park it next to a bush. Forty-three thousand euros. Uh, so road car Purcell, it belongs to the same company. Peter Purcell started the business in 1989, so it's 30 years old now. This one is 43,000 plus, and uh, aha! Now that is unusual. See what they've done here. This thing here, that'll move. Backwards and forwards, that's rather re reminiscent of a motorhome. I have never seen this before in a camper van. And it's, it, that really does look elegant though, doesn't it, for a, something of this nature. Not bad at all. Yeah, so that's in, in position. Two, notice that down there. Two plug holes. Nice bed at the back. Skylight. Well, I like this actually. This this one here appeals to me. I, mean, I like a big table. You're not going to get a big table in a van of this size. Yeah, I think I'll have to come back and do this in more depth a bit later because this is really the other van I'm sort of looking at it at the moment. We'll have a quick look at this two win plus the two win the idea of this is that uh, there's only two you're traveling you only need two seats two win r plus all well, this one here seems to got four so there you go that's probably why it's a plus sort of defeats the object really isn't it if you 
a van for sitting two people who's got four seats. Anyway, so 42 and a half plus thousand euros. Oh, no, I'll tell you what, I think I'd have this one. Changed my mind. They're going to give me any and have it off the, off the stand. 52,000. Oh, yes, this is definitely more me. Actually, I filmed this at Stuttgart. Although, the the, the disc got damaged, so it mightn't have uh, it mightn't have come out. There you go. Your, your, your bed's up here. See, there's the bed. Very nice. Yeah, this is the one. If they want to give me a van. I'll take this one. Right. So I shall be filming more on this stand. Uh, uh, here at Essen, I'll be filming more on other stands at uh, Essen and so I hope you find that of interest. If you didn't, then there's not much I can do about it because that's the way I am. That's about the best I can do. Uh, if you go to my website, Motorhome Full Time, you will find a uh, link to more information about these vehicles. And uh, so, and you can. If you're really interested, of course you can subscribe. So, uh, that's all from a road car R540 today. And base price is 33,000 of this. The other, the other things are extras, including cruise control and air conditioning. Oh, so. Um, and the tent in the roof is included. Sorry, so that's the whole. It's not the base price, as I said earlier, forty thousand. Base price is thirty-three, and forty thousand. You get that with the tent. So, uh, and the tent costs four thousand euros, which isn't such a bad price because if you bought the thing and did it, you bought the thing to do yourself. It's going to cost you getting on for four thousand euros. So uh, that's. Uh, that's not too bad, in my opinion.